Let's take a look at the molecular geometry for carbon monoxide, CO. So we start with our Lewis structure here. We can see there's a carbon. We have this triple bond here between the carbon and the oxygen. And we have these two lone pairs out on either side. Because we only have two atoms here, it has to be a linear molecular geometry. Let's take a look at why that is. So let's say this is our carbon here, and then we add a triple bond with our oxygen. You can see that it's in a straight line. That's really the only way it can orient itself. If you add a lone pair here, like this, it's going to go to the opposite side as to be as far away from these as it can. If we add another lone pair, that'll show up right here. So we maintain our linear molecular geometry. If we had more than two atoms, we'd have to take into account the lone pairs and the other atoms attached, figure out the steric number, and then we could figure out the molecular geometry. But for CO, carbon monoxide, the molecular geometry or shape is just a linear molecule. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for carbon monoxide. Thanks for watching.